there's been quite a bit of development over the last few months and we've gone from a state just before Christmas when people really uh, perhaps had very little idea of the changes which were coming to some level of awareness. Uh, there's still a long way to go though because there's a lot of detail, for instance, financial instruments, which are an area where most accountants have been able to ignore them because under current UK GAP you don't really do anything with them. This will become front and centre stage. It's one of the biggest areas of change. Um, accountants are starting to realise that actually this is something that they need to know about, but then of course you need to go from realising it's something you need to know about to, to knowing about it. And on top of that, which is already an issue under UK GAP, all of the new proposals for micros and small companies, um, for instance, the sort of things that get covered in Accountancy Magazine uh, article on the differences between what we have now and what we're moving towards uh, are areas which are very, very new, which practitioners now need to deal with. I think in, in our, my experience, we have found that accountants are generally becoming more aware, but practices that deal primarily with small companies are perhaps not yet thinking that it's going to have too much impact on their work. Uh, because for most small companies, they're thinking accounts commencing on or after 1st of January 2016 will be the first set of accounts that they have to consider this. Uh, but of course, the thing is they do need to prepare and they do need to actually understand that the transition dates for those accounts will be 1st of January 2015 when they've got to think about valuation of certain items and how that will impact the accounts going forward and advise their clients and make preparation for that. So there is increased awareness, but I think there is still a lot more that needs to be done. This is one of the biggest changes, if not the biggest changes, in accounting requirements for anything that we've had um, for 30 years or so. So there's definitely a requirement to not just read about it, but potentially to go on external training courses, uh, to make use of software when even before maybe software hasn't been used, to help make the difference between a successful transition toward the new rules and one which results in a lot of mess and a lot of cost for the accountant. Uh, in, indeed, I think there is going to be the need for quite uh, extensive attendance of external courses and to gain external resources. One of the difficulties you have with this is even if you sat down and read the legislation, it is called GAP, Generally Accepted Accounting Principles. And all of this is very new. And of course, what is a generally accepted accounting principle is difficult to actually ascertain until it's actually implemented and you've got lots of companies preparing accounts and actually coming up with this. So accountants do need advice from experts who, are, who, who know how to lead, read legislation and how to translate that into how should you prepare your accounts and what does the legislation actually mean.